One super confusing topic is Amazon brand registry. When we create a private label brand, is it absolutely necessary that we get a trademark and uh, apply for a trademark, get approved for a trademark for our brand or word mark or text mark to be able to get brand registry? And what's the difference between brand registry with A plus content and brand exemption or brand approval to go along with getting your brand name entered on your listing and getting Amazon brand registry. I'm gonna talk about the differences and how you get each one done in today's video. Welcome to the channel. If you're new, welcome back to those of you who are my subscribers. My name is Brian Noonan. I'm a full-time Amazon FBA seller, mentor, business coach. Right here on my YouTube channel, I'm dedicated to bringing weekly videos covering everything Amazon FBA, e-commerce, personal development. So if you enjoy that type of content, please do me a favor right now. Head on down and press subscribe. I can see each and every one of you who take just a moment to subscribe, and I appreciate each of you. My job right here on this channel is to help educate, teach, impact as many lives as possible, sharing my story of how I went from a struggling broke drug addict six and a half years ago all the way to owning multiple six-figure online businesses. Without any other delays, let's jump into my computer so I can go over the differences between brand registry and brand approval exemption right now. All right, guys. Well, let's get started. So let's go over first. Uh, let's talk about first brand exemption or brand approval. So it's not required, guys, when you want to launch a private label product, your own FBA private label product on Amazon, you want to go ahead and launch a product under your own brand name. Do you need an LLC? Do you need a trademark? Do you have to get brand registry from the very beginning? The answer is no. You don't need an LLC. You don't need a business license or anything or insurance. You don't need uh, a trademark to go ahead and launch products on Amazon uh, using your own brand name. But what are the steps to actually get a logo done, to come up with a brand, to get this brand exemption or approval from Amazon, to use your brand name? And then how do we go about actually getting a trademark on that brand and getting brand registry? I'll cover all that in today's video. The first step really, guys, is to choose a brand name. So hopefully by this point, you've already found a product. You know what product you're going to be selling, which category it's going to be in. Uh, you don't necessarily have to already, but I recommend picking a brand name that's one or two words, uh, specifically one or two words. You don't want it too specific where you can only launch products in that category. So a one or two word brand name uh, that makes sense where you can launch multiple products because actually once you register your brand as a trademark and you trademark your brand name, you actually have to classify it in a category. And so in the beginning, your next few products that you launch will and should be under that one same category. Of course, you can use this brand name and this brand to launch other products in whatever category you want, but it will require a separate classification fee once you do trademark and pick one category to, to register your trademark in. But the first step, guys, is picking a brand name. How do you come up with a brand name? The best two suggestions I can give you on where to think of potential brand names is number one, looking at your main competitors on Amazon. Sometimes just by looking at all the sellers on Amazon, you're able to see and get ideas like this one is Line Gear. Uh, you know, other ones you'll see down here are called um, VersaDesk, Vivo, Simber, Visibio. You know, these really don't make sense and some are too specific to where you can only launch desks. Um, but you'll want to think of something that's not too specific where you can only launch a product like this in desks or computer accessories. Simber is actually not too bad. Uh, like Fizibio is okay. Uh, and then the second place I'd go would be Google, and I would just type in like most popular uh, uh, names, like brand names 2021. And you can go through here and look at Hermes, Dior, Chanel. Of course, these are like all fashion brands. But I've got ideas here, uh, unique brand name ideas by using this one right here. Uh, it's a brand name exemption, uh, 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 generate names. So it can actually generate brand names for you. So describe your brand in one word. Let's say it's computer, uh, let's say it's just um, uh, uh, computer accessories. Let's see what it comes up with. So here is a really good one. Look, computer project, greater computer, uh, voice computer, computer pitbull. Uh, Northeast, uh, so you would like Computer Harmony, all of these have the word computer in them, but you could uh, leave out the word computer and just do Highlands or Arctic or Abundant or um, Third Eye or Pharos. That's your brand name. So let's say I wanted to launch a brand called Pharos. 
What's the next step? Now that I've got a potential brand name idea, the next step is come over to trademarkia.com and type in that potential brand name. It's spelled Pharos, P-H-A-P-H-A-R-O-S. Come over to trademarkia.com, do a search, and, th and this, what we're doing here, guys, is we're checking to make sure that our brand name is not already taken, that we want to use this brand name is going to be going on our product, this brand name is going to be going on our packaging, on our insert card, on our social media pages, and um, it, it'll be displayed on the listing. And so it's important to pick a good brand name, not just some random name. Come over to trademarkia.com, enter the potential brand name you want to use, and you can see here, guys, I typed in Pharos. You can see all these marks have already been filed. It says new application file, publication, registered, granted, registered. This means that this brand name is taken. Now, let me adjust this a little bit. Uh, like if I go uh, Pharos like this and see if this is available. So Pharos was taken, but you can see this spelling, P-H-A-R-R-O-S, it says register now in the United States for $3.99. This means that this brand name is available. So come over to Trademarkia, run your brand name in here to see if that brand name is available. That's step two after you think of a brand name. Step three, you actually want to go to Namecheap.com and type in this brand name and see if the .com domain is available. And go ahead and secure or get or buy the domain name. This will be helpful for later on once you want to branch out and sell your products uh, on your own branded website. Uh, you'll, you'll have the domain, uh, pharos.com is taken, but there's pharos.net, pharos.org. Um, so the .com is taken. So I may have to do like shop pharos uh, to get the .com. So that's probably going to be available. Yeah, shop pharos.com, $8.8. .8. Uh, to buy that. So secure the uh, brand domain name. You don't need an email or anything to pay extra, but you do want to just go ahead and buy the .com domain name. This will be guys for eventually once you want to launch your own website, build out your own Shopify store, sell on your own, your products on your own website to diversify your risk a little bit. Uh, it's super helpful to have your brand uh, website uh, domain already bought and secured. So now that we've uh, came up with a brand name, we've checked to make sure that it's not already taken. We've bought the domain name. What's the next step? The next step, guys, is to get a logo done on Fiverr. You can order a logo off Fiverr. They're about $10 or $20 uh, to get a logo done. You can just pay someone right on Fiverr. They'll design you one or two really nice, you know, simple but modern logos. And uh, you can pick your favorite uh, any any really logo designer on Fiverr is good guys as long as they have like over 50 reviews uh, they're a top rated seller level one level two seller you can see right here uh, logo starting for $20 uh, $20 for this logo uh, $55 is kind of high but but 15 to $30 is all you should have to spend on a simple unique kind of creative modern logo for your brand that's step three or four then the next step guys is we actually want to send this logo to your supplier and when you order your sample you know let's say you're selling this computer desk riser you would want to order one sample with your logo printed on the bottom like right here either in the bottom corner probably not right there because the computer thing goes there but I would do it on the bottom of this you want to order one custom sample with your brand name permanently affixed to the sample the brand name or your logo on your actual product and packaging is going to be required for our next step to submit photos and evidence to Amazon to get brand approval to use our brand. And once it comes time for the next step I'm going to talk about here in a few minutes, the trademark process, you have to have your logo on your product and the packaging. So you'd want to order one custom sample, send the logo to your supplier, ask them to print it on the bottom of this computer desk if they want to they can put it right here in the bottom right or right here in the top right it just needs to be printed permanently affixed engraved uh, heat, uh, heat silk screen uh, transfer printed watermark printed uh, any way they can permanently affix your brand name on the product you'll want to order at least one custom sample you don't need to have your barcode on this product uh, for the photos and evidence we're going to submit to Amazon for approval for this brand uh, approval and exemption but that's going to be the next step guys and then once the uh, sample gets to your house just take a couple photos of the product right on your own desk holding it in your own hand 
And that's all you're going to need for this brand approval process. The next step, guys, is when you go to create a listing, it's going to say right here, I'm under create a new, uh, create a new listing, adding a product not sold on Amazon. This is how you create your listing in Seller Central. You can see right here it asks for brand name and manufacturer name. Here you would actually want to get that brand name entered here. We don't want to have to put generic or NA. Now, if you don't have a custom sample and you have to make the listing uh, in a hurry or you just need to be able to get the listing to go through, it's probably going to pop up saying error code 5665. Amazon must approve your brand before you can list products using that brand. Uh, a little trick that uh, I'll tell you to get the listing to go through, you don't want to put generic. You don't want to have to put N slash A, which a bunch of listings have. Instead, if my brand name was Pharos, put that brand name in the manufacturer name, leave that as is. But here, go like P dash H for Pharos or P slash H. That is going to allow you to go ahead and create the listing and push it through if you need to create your listing right away. So that's a big tip there, guys. Just keep adjusting the brand name. Maybe I go uh, Pharos like this, uh, P dash RS for Pharos, something like that, guys. It'll allow you to be able to create the listing. Okay, so super helpful tip there to get the listing to go through. Now, how do you actually go in and change that brand name or where do you go to submit that evidence or those pictures of your sample with logo on it? You come into your Seller Central account. You go to the top right to help. You're going to come down here to need more help, get support. And, and now you will go over here selling on Amazon. Uh, here the, you can see describe your issue. This is not the right one to do because we need to be able to upload pictures. So click on browse the uh, menu. And then we're going to go down to product listings and then we're going to go to trouble adding a product and then need more help contact us and then here guys it should be the section where you'll be able to upload your message yes right here contact reason error code 5665 Amazon brand approval and exemption here is where you're going to describe your issue. I'm going to link a doc down below for you guys. This doc is going to have the email template that will have it already all written out that you'll want to use to submit to Amazon. I will link this doc down below about error code 5665. Essentially, guys, you're just going to uh, copy and paste this template message right here in this doc. Right down here, it says, hello, good day, or madame, thank you for your help. Uh, we're ha having trouble adding our product and getting our, our brand name there. Could you please uh, grant us access to use our brand name, Pharos? Okay, uh, you can submit this before you actually create the product. That's uh, before you create your listing, actually, is a good time to submit pictures of your custom sample to Amazon. And then they, what Amazon is going to do is approve your your account to list new products with that brand and you only have to do this guys for your very first product listing using this new brand name so you'll copy and paste the template down here in the describe your issue box uh, contact method you can do email and then right here guys add attachments this is where you're going to want to upload photos of your product showing the logo on it okay so that's where you'll upload that now let me just close this and then we will move on to the next step. All right guys, and then you would click send and now Amazon in about two to six days is gonna unlock your account so that you're able to create new product listings and get your actual brand entered here in the brand name box. That is brand approval, brand exemption, coming up with the brand name steps. Now the next one, which is the more important one, well just as important, but a bigger one, is trademarks. Trademarks, guys. So trademarks is uh, two things. You can either trademark your text of your logo or the image. We want to go ahead, in most cases, just text mark. That means if this was my brand name, Amazon, I'm just, tech, I'm just text marking or trademarking the text. So um, this document just kind of shows you what uh, the trademark attorney is going to want to see. When you want to register a trademark, you have a couple of different options for that text mark. Number one, guys, you can use trademarkia.com like I showed you before. You can use LegalZoom. You can file for yourself. Uh, if you use one of those three options, you file for yourself, you use trademarkia.com, or you use LegalZoom, 
Uh, as soon as you guys have a USPTO trademark office registration number for your trademark, it's like a serial number that they give you, the USPTO uh, office, you can go ahead and apply for brand registry. It used to be, guys, the only two ways we could get brand registry was either one, filing with like LegalZoom or filing using Trademarkia, waiting 8 to 12 months for our trademark to get approved, and then getting brand registry. We had to wait 8 to 12 months for our trademark to fully go through. That was the option number one, used to be. And then the other option, guys, was use this IP accelerator program and cost of around $900 to $1,200. It's a partnered law firm, these uh, law firms that Amazon has partnered with, and they'll get your trademark going, and then Amazon will give you brand registry in about 10 to 14 days if you go through the IP accelerator program, but it's very expensive. It's about a thousand dollars. And so there's a better option now, guys, which is use trademarkia.com or use LegalZoom or file for yourself. And as soon as you get that serial number or trademark number, which can take about a week to one month, you can get access, early access to brand registry in only about a week to one month while you're waiting for your trademark to be approved. There's a section on brand registry uh, eligibility website that shows you that as soon as you have a pending trademark application number, you can apply for and get brand registry, okay? So it's super, super cool. And I want to show an example of Omar here. I had a call with Brian, saved me about $1,000. He spent about 150 bucks for the call, so 1000 saved is not a bad ROI. He informed me that I could use the serial number outside of the IP accelerator program to apply for brand registry early. I consulted a law firm and have a good understanding of trademark work now. I'll be filing for my the trademark myself. Thank you, Brian. I also filed for my LLC myself and saved almost $200 in legal fees. And I got my EIN on the spot. I'm buying myself a new computer. So super happy to be able to help, help Omar, guys. But this is just a, another uh, validation and just an example of how this works. You guys don't need to spend the 1000 bucks on the IP Accelerator program. You don't need to wait 8 to 12 months for your trademark to be fully issued and granted before you can get brand registry. Uh, you can use Trademarkia.com for about 500 bucks. You can file for yourself for about 200 bucks. Uh, or use LegalZoom. And as soon as you've got that pending trademark number, serial number, apply for and get brand registry. What are the benefits of brand registry? Why do we even want brand registry? Well, brand registry comes with a lot of uh, cool features. Yeah. To just kind of top it off, guys, Amazon is truly moving to like a brand only type of platform. Uh, other than the kind of the, you know, the online retail arbitrage flipping products method, for a private label, they really want just brands selling products on their website. They want us to build a brand. They want us to have high quality products. And they really give a lot of features and highlights to sellers who have brand registry. So the main benefits, guys, of course, are like the Vine program for getting your first few reviews, running lightning deals and special promotions and prime exclusive deals. All of this requires brand registry. But on our end, and the most important things that I like about brand registry is we can do a video here on our listing to showcase our product. Uh, down here in the product description, we have what's called A plus content, which is beautifully laid out photos in our product description, different modules and sections that highlight our brand, what our brand is about, the product and how it adds value, how it's different, start living green and uh, being more productive. You know, look at this. This really converts super well, guys. You have this... Uh, image down in your product description that's actually moving. This is exactly what you get getting brand registry is you're able to set up really nice A plus content on your product listing, do photos, you have more uh, more uh, tools and resources available to you to help promote your products. And then the other thing guys is you're able to once you have three products launched under your brand is you can set up a really nice storefront or branded website page just like this one for your brand. As soon as you have three products launched, you can set up a beautiful website. This is on Amazon still, but is just for your brand, a nice storefront. That, guys, is going to go over how you go about coming up with a brand name, getting brand exemption and approval on your listing, and then submitting and getting Amazon brand registry. 
I hope you found this video valuable. Leave me any questions or comments you have down below. Thank you guys so much for your support and for watching. And I'll link the next videos I recommend watching at the end of this one. And I'll see you on my next video.